Hey folks, it's JP here. It's uh, Saturday, March 11th, and I'm down in Bayou Gula, Louisiana, about an hour and 20 minutes from where I live. And today I'm going to be removing bees that are in the wall section of this house behind me. And they've been here quite a long time. We're not really sure how long. The house has been vacant, and uh, I've been hired to come out and, and remove them and bring them somewhere else. So we're about to get into it. I'm going to show you what uh, the activity looks like. So there's our entrance right there. Okay, you can see we got activity. Now when I, when I pulled up about uh, 20 minutes ago, we had orientation flights going on. So there were about probably, oh, look like five, six hundred bees in the air, all circling, you know, doing their thing. And they've gone back in for the most part. I've opened them all up. And uh, this colony is about, uh, I'd say, a good seven and a half feet long, okay? I tell you, it's a good seven and a half feet, if not a little bit longer than that. Hey Kendall, you think there's bees in that wall? It looks like it. <laughs> Quite a few, huh? Yeah, I'd say that. Yeah, I'd say, uh, well we vacuumed up probably about 5,000. I'd say there's about 20,000 left in that wall. You might as well just enjoy this piece because there's not a lot of honey on it. So I'm not going to put it in the bag. We can go ahead and chew on it a little bit ourselves. Had a really good taste. see the difference the drone brood is at the bottom there okay and then the rest of its capped worker brood which will be females and these would be males at the bottom and there's a drone right there okay that's a male honeybee right there we're looking at
mean making noise and affecting anything, huh? Nope. Still here doing this removal. It's five minutes to nine, okay? I started this thing around 2.30. Got all the comb out, the wall section. I had to open up the section to the right of the main section. They had a gap between the 2 by 4 and the, and the wall. So I had to go ahead and open it up. But there was no comb back there. But I vacuumed three different boxes of bees. And uh, I filled up a deep with a uh, you know, worker brood. And um, I'd like to show you all something right now. Uh, I have three uh, inner uh, BVAC boxes. They're stacked on top of each other right now. The one on the bottom, okay, has a pile of bees in a certain area. Actually, they're piled up at the, the top of the box. So I want to show you all that. That could be a signal that the queen is in that box. See, we have the three boxes here. And um, see that bottom box? <clears throat> Those bees are just staying right there. If they wanted to, they can go all the way up. They can go to the middle box, or they can go to the top box. But they're staying right there. So I'm going to think that Queenie is inside of that box. So we're going to go ahead and shake them in just a second and see. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Take a peek in here and see if, if she, maybe she ran down when I shook her. Let's see if we can get lucky, folks. This is a freaking nice poor bees. I don't hear any roar. They seem they seem content before. Maybe you got a queen in there. And, just didn't see her. Well, we got lots of eggs and stuff, so they they got resources. They can make a new queen. <sighs> Two more frames, folks. And I got an hour and twenty minute ride back home after this, folks. <laughs> I guess you got to be a little crazier, a little, a little overly passionate, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. But I enjoy this, folks. I sure do. I wouldn't put these kind of hours in unless I truly enjoyed it. Yep, I got paid to do this job, but uh, I've been here all day. I don't see the queen. Oh, I see a queen. I see a queen. Woohoo! How about that, folks? It only took me what seven hours. Where did you go, girl? Well, there are a lot of drones on here. But I know what I saw, folks. I know what I saw. I'm starting to doubt myself a little bit that maybe it was a drone. In my mind, <laughs> I saw a queen. Now, I just gotta find her again to prove it to y'all. Alright, folks, so I'm gonna call it a night. <laughs> it's been a long day. And uh, I got the job done. <laughs> Took a bunch of stings, but it's all good. It comes with the territory. So, from Bayou Gula, this is JP, and uh, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it, and y'all have a good weekend and a good night. Take care.